Hello, welcome to the Colorful Creativity Podcast. My name is Caroline and this is episode 102. You can find me everywhere as Kralalin, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or however it works. I have a webshop, colorfulcreativity.nl, and there is a Ravelry group for chatter and knit along, spin alongs, etc. And it is the Colorful Creativity group in the group section on Ravelry. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to all new viewers. I'm happy you like it here. Hope you stick around. Subscribe down below. And welcome back to all returning viewers. I'm also very happy you keep returning uh, and like it here. Um, and ever so grateful for uh, you to spend some time of your day with me, even in this busy, crazy time. So, back in a week. And my helper is also back. It's Binks. Um, I am sitting next to them. They, they are in their basket waiting for the sun to appear. If you hear anything, the door is open so you can hear a bit of background noise from outside. Birdsong maybe, some neighbors and hopefully no cleaning stuff or s saw or a drill or anything. Fingers crossed for that. Um, back in a week. This also means that this is going to be a shorter episode, for sure, because I don't have that much knitting time and I don't have that much uh, concentration. It's really ridiculous. Like, knitting 10 stitches and then, yeah, scroll uh, notification or an Instagram thing or a message on WhatsApp or whatever. Um, have to look at Rav Ravelry. Got a bright idea. It's just like poof, everywhere. So yeah. But I do have some knitting and even some spinning to show you. I'm looking beside me just to find the one I'm going to start with. And here it is. I do not have a finished object, but I'm counting a half finished object today as well. Ta -da -da. I finished my husband's sock. I ripped out the color work in the foot and made it just full plain vanilla. So he doesn't have any problems with how it feels underneath with the color work. Um, it's nice and smooth. Knit on a 2.5 millimeter, and I love how the gauge looks, how the fabric looks. It's nice and tight and tidy. In comparison, this is my gauge on a 3.25 millimeter needle and colorwork. It sucks. <laughs> I do not like it, but oh well, it fits him. I will need a second one someday, and. Um, He's gonna wear them in winter when it's nice and cold because they are really, really warm and really long. My goodness, never ending socks. Um, the pattern is called Diamond Duality and I really love the color she used and her gauge is a bit more consistent than mine. And this is by Liz Harris. This is round one for sock madness. And, well, since I have knit one sock and it is not fully according to plan of uh, the Sock Madness rules, I'm out of the competition. Definitely not a surprise. Uh, what is it, Wednesday? I think even five or six days ago, there, uh, the new pattern already came out. So round two is out. And this one is by Dots Devils, and it is called Braid a Lot. Here it is, a picture of it. It's a small picture, so I hope you can see it. But it has collar work in the cuff and cables all over the leg and foot. And they are actually mirrored. So there is a lot going on, and I'm super happy I'm not in a competition anymore. Because that means I can leave out the color work bit. I can do the Latvian braids because those are in there as well on both sides of the color work. I can just do one Latvian braid and then the cable stuff. 
um, that is what I'm thinking about now. I have seen a few that I'm like, oh yeah, that's zebra um, uh, animal print. Really looks awesome. But then again, color work for me in socks is just not the best combination. I am thinking of using this skein from my deep stash. Uh, this is colorful soft sock in the colorway vanilla birthday cupcake sprinkles thingy magic. <laughs> I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. It is something vanilla cup cupcake with a lot of sprinkles, uh, rainbow of course, and it was from the birthday cake collection a few years ago. I saved this for something special. I think this might be it. I know cables look really good if you use a semi-solid, but that would bore me the hell out. And this is also not a semi-solid, but a tonal, so I think a light speckle might also work. I've also seen it done in um, striping. I'm not a fan of self-striping for cable socks, but it wasn't hideous, so I can totally get why people would do that. So now the big question is, do I cast on sock number one of this and be able to check with my team about it? Or do I cast on sock number two of pair number one? What are we gonna do? For now, I'm still in indecision land, so I don't know. Then I have two test knits going and that's actually all I've been working on beside a simple vanilla sock which is nice uh, because that was just mindless going around. Um, I have here the first test knit which is somehow, ah, there it is, the La Sorority uh, top by uh, Kate Oates Designs and this is the ribbing and all I did was one round of the pattern and then the designer said oh wait stop I found an issue I am not happy with I need to figure this out hold your horses please pause and wait until I figure it out um, it's a design um, decision she needs to make and she only found out by knitting a second um, sample and test knitting with us as well um, and she was like okay this is weird this looks different than my first one I'm not very happy with it so I want to see if I have to change it, how I can change it and what will change. So please wait. So it could be that this has to be ripped out and that it's going to become uh, flat knit and then seamed instead of in the round. I'm okay with that. I don't mind it. I really like how it looks, uh, or at least how the first one looks. And we'll wait and see how the second one will look. And if we have options and maybe do the one or the other, I'm not sure. So I am knitting this in cotton yarn and this is Katona from Scheepjes. This is from my own shop. I had 20 mini balls of this color and it is 254, a brown beige grayish color. Here you can see 20 balls. It's only 25 grams so it's not like it's a huge test knit, it's just mini balls. And that will be combined with all the yarn in this project bag. And here's also my swatch, but as you can see, it's gonna be a very bright rainbow striped top. I am really looking forward to that. And here is a little swatch to show you how the pattern will look like. It's a chevron striped thing and that makes it asymmetrical and there were some issues with that. All is fine. I am still working on my other test knit even though it's going slow in this Tits Out Collective project bag. 
I have my test knit for the Contrast Eraser Bra by Jessie May Designs or Jessie May Martinson. Uh, May D Designs, sorry, Jessie May D Designs. Um, and this is a sporty retro racer back, racer back bralette that can be worn as a fun underlayer or a sweet summer crop. And I am here. <laughs> I am still working on the twisted rib. I feel like the slowest knitter ever. Let me see this side uh, is the good side. Twisted rib with a contrast cast on and all those ends you see is because uh, I'm holding fingering weight yarn double and I cast on um, with the beginning and the end of the ball so I wouldn't run out of yarn for a long tail cast on it was a German twisted or Norwegian old Norwegian cast on so you use a little mo more yarn than you would use in a normal a long tail cast on so yeah all these ends are just because it is two ends on one side from casting on on the other side one end or actually a double one end from finishing with the collar and then there is another end because one of the two colors has to be cut off and then there's the end of starting this because it's only the cast on that you do in the contrast color. The yarn I'm using is Colorful Smooth Sock and this is Quirky Rainbow. I have two skeins at the same time. I have a third as a backup if I run out of yarn. And the contrasting color I used, do I have it in here? Yes I do. Is the brand new teal mermaid's tail and I love how it's gonna look you're gonna use the contrast for a few more things it looks amazing I think I like how neat twisted rib looks I just don't like knitting it or actually my body doesn't really like knitting it I'm knitting this on I'm seeing 2.75 millimeter needles so it's a bit tight so I mean it's a, of course a short cable so you can't see the stretch but this should be just below my bust I'm like yeah sure I know it will fit but it's still a bit crazy so that is it for knitting and I already expected this to be a shorter episode, which is nice because plenty to do for everyone and keeping episodes short was always an issue. And then I've been spinning a bit. I, my bobbin is filling. And this is the Wool Gatherings Merino Yak Silk Blend that I really, really like. I got this in a swap with my friend Monique from Frog Peak Creations. And it is so nice and smooth. The silk is gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I have to keep plugging away with this. It's not going fast my spinning somehow I am really slow in spinning if others just spin all day they get 100 grams spun up or even more I think if I spun all day I would manage a half a braid or something one bit of fluff of this takes me probably half an hour to an hour depending on how big it is this is a smaller one i also have a little bit bigger ones they would take me like 45 minutes to an hour i i guess it's just my perfectionism that doesn't want to let go and wants to spin finely so i'm always a very thin spinner so i have to pay attention with this 
because this has to be a little bit thicker than super thin. Um, yeah, I am working pretty hard at the moment, dyeing yarn. I have dyed up all the mini skeins that were sold out or almost sold out for the shop. And I have also dyed some new colors. Um, the first one I have already shared on Instagram. It is a, a super bright neon from Sock Sets. That one I already dyed as a one of a kind, so I had to rework the whole colorway. And now it is going to become a regular, but please keep in mind, neon speckled yarn will always look different batch to batch. That is one of the most inconsistent colors I can get as for the dye powder and sometimes it's nice and crisp speckles and sometimes it's just a blur of dye. Nothing I can do. Um, I'm also dyeing the Neon Fade sets again in the mini skein version and then uh, I'm still contemplating what else I'm gonna dye. It's bright and uh, yeah. I needed that this week to brighten up my days. It's gorgeous weather. I uh, will totally say that beeping is my uh, uh, cooking device uh, telling me my sushi rice is done and I should go and have a look at it um, in a minute. It can wait five minutes, it's fine. Um, in the meantime, I'm also vlogging, for those who haven't seen it yet, almost daily, I try to keep up, but uh, sometimes I just need a break from all the editing at the computer in the evening, and I'm like, no, I don't feel like it. I want my evening free and have a little peace of mind and less screen time. Um, as for shipping, I have posted an update on Instagram about that that I wasn't sure on which days I could ship. Um, Friday is not the best day anymore. Um, it's super busy at the supermarket. I have to drop off my packages and uh, there's a tiny little post office desk in there. But it's also very narrow and it's not the best place to, to keep your distance. So I'm not doing that again on Friday and I moved to earlier in the week. I was thinking Monday or Tuesday, but with Easter and all the holiday days and uh, like the bank holidays, uh, I think that's what you call it. We just call it the second day of Easter. Um, yeah, it's just not the best. So Tuesday might be an option, but then Robert went this morning. Um, I, we went out for a trip to the supermarket together. I did our groceries. Robert did groceries for my mom and gran. So we both had a cart and all was fine. We even social distanced from each other. So nobody would be like, huh? You're too close. Um, and then he went to the post office and I also saw the other post office is open already earlier than usual. So Wednesday morning will be the shipping day. I have no clue yet what the German border is going to do. On one side they say Friday it's going to close and on the other side they say North Rhine-Westphalia will stay open. We're bordered to North Rhine-Westphalia. So I'm going out tomorrow on my bike to see if I can still crossover and maybe see if there's something already to see that it, they are gonna close it but I'm hopeful that I can still ship German orders from Germany if not they will be shipped from the Netherlands it will be a bit slower but I can still ship from the Netherlands so no problems there it's all seeming a bit like people are getting adjusted to the new normal and I'm just hoping we all stay healthy. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye and see if I can add all the other ingredients to my sushi rice. So we have some sushi tonight. I will keep you posted in the vlog about that. 
and show you how it works or at least how I make sushi. So I hope you like that a bit real life behind the scenes look and if not just skip them and wait for the next podcast. I will see you again hopefully next week and um, stay safe, stay healthy 